Hi, Johnny. Say hi, everybody. Say, I'm not scared anymore. Hey, everybody. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Can you see me okay? Let me know it's clear. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You happy? Huh? Are you happy now? Look who I have. Look who's on my lap. Oh my gosh. This baby is nothing but pure love. He's the sweetest. Look at him with his little shirt on. I don't know if you were able to um, see the photo that I posted on our Facebook page. But Charlie was found on the streets of Miami. He was completely one matted mess. He was loaded with fleas and ticks. Ne totally neglected. We saw the intake photo last week sometime. Um, and I immediately sent in our rescue hold. When I got the response back from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter, because we are partnered with them, they told me that they then found a microchip on him. So they had to hold him for a certain period of time in case an owner came looking for their dog. Um, after that, then, we also received an email stating that Charlie had an adopter halt. So we waited and we waited. I can tell you that there were over 4,000 comments on one post for Charlie. And everybody was saying that he was adopted yesterday. So we just assumed that was the case, that he was adopted. And then um, this morning, I received the email stating that our hold, we were ready for pickup for little Charlie over here. So I was quite confused. I think that's where a lot of the confusion is coming in um, on all the posts on social media. So you'd be very careful when you post a dog is safe, a dog is adopted, when you do not have confirmation. That is why when we were asked continuously, you know, what's the status? And I explained in writing. I said, guys, <clears throat> I'm trying to get him. I have the, mm -hmm. the camera reversed. I was trying to explain to everybody. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I was trying to explain to everybody that until we actually get confirmation from the shelter that he was adopted, then he's not safe. And that's exactly what happened. So he's so gorgeous. He's about 12 pounds and um, he's shaved down. He's wearing his cute little shirt. <laughs> he's very sweet. He's confused for sure. He's confused. It's funny, not funny, but when I know, I know, I know. So out this, we're in my car. <clears throat> there is a gentleman walking by with a little dog. <laughs> so when he sees a dog through the window, he's very barky and vo vocal. Uh, as soon as I roll the window down, he's totally a different dog. So he's uh, <laughs> Mr. Personality, huh? Hi, Charlie. It's C-H-A-R-L-E-Y. And Charlie is 12 pounds. He's five years of age. And he needs a home. He needs a home. He does not want to be in an environment with a kennel. I don't blame him after that horrible, horrible video of him shaking and trembling in that kill shelter. It is so traumatizing to these animals, guys. It is so scary for them, the barking, the loud noise. Um, as a matter of fact, I was playing that video in my car and he heard it and he just sat there and his little head was tilting back and forth and back and forth. He was, no more of that, Charlie. That's all behind you now, Charlie. Yeah. So Charlie is available for adoption immediately. Um, we're gonna do some blood work on him. He was neutered at the shelter. He's a little red. He's sore down there, so we're going to make sure that whatever he needs, he will get. Um, <laughs> Charlie, I'm trying to get you on video. I have it in reverse. Come here. Come here, Charlie. Look what I have for you. Charlie. What's that? Do you know what toys are, Charlie? Charlie is not going to remember any of the bad in his life when I get finished. I'll tell you that. He's only going to remember all the good. Look at this. He's in my back seat. Look at this. He's so happy to be out of that place. So this is our freedom ride for Charlie, everybody. Thank you in advance for any of you that donated to allow us to save this little life. 
please remember um, we have taken in oh my gosh I don't know just in the past week I think we took in like 14 dogs out of Miami-Dade something in that number don't hold me to it but um, these dogs that we're taking out of the kill shelter uh, we're taking them not spayed not neutered and we're doing it on our own we're finding that they have severe dental disease they need not only dentals but they need extractions they have diarrhea they need certain meds like metronidazole um, you know medicated baths laser surgery to heal their their um, any kind of scars at the ones that do come out already spayed or neutered so please the it goes on and on and on not to mention the boarding and everything else that these babies need to make them whole again after all that they've endured. Come here, Charlie. Come back. Come back. There we go. Get a better shot. Look. Say hi, everybody. Everybody, thank you for saving Charlie and allowing us to continue our ongoing mission. Is it the best, Charlie? Is it the best? Is it the best, Charlie? Good stuff, guys. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Another life saved. It is because of you and your donations, truly, that allow us to continue our ongoing mission. So we're going to get him settled. If you are interested in meeting Charlie, please reach out to us at 100 plus, P-L-U-S, abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Just to give you a heads up, we do not ship. We do not transport. We are located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We require a meet and greet with any existing pets in the house, any children, and we also come to the home and do a thorough home check. So be prepared. Again, thank you for your love and your support to allow us to save this beautiful life, Charlie. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And W2. Oh my God, I'm getting kisses. How jealous are all of you?